about to get on the way here in um, Dungani, pitch three in Dungani. Perfect conditions for the minor final. Division five between Round Towers and Dunderry. Dunderry playing with a slight breeze in the opening half. And we're alive. Connell Leonard wins the throw in. Number 20, Cameron Feehan. Connor Kerwin. Let's get there, Josh. Good lad. Into Lewis O'Donnell. Lewis wearing 16 this evening. He set Yui Corkin on his way. Yui, the round high was danger man. Oh, what a start, what an angle, a great goal by the young Corkman man. Fantastic start by Round Towers. All right, lads, all right, all right, all right. A goal in 30 seconds by Yui Corkman. Get in for a goal. Luke Galligan. Cut out by the Dunnery defence. We'll go through the teams in the water break, guys. Just give them the action here. Big man midfield for Dunderry. Finn O'Connor. Connor Sheridan still in possession. Oh, cut out well there by Alex Wood Norton. I'm joined here in co commentary by Sean Caffrey. Sean Caffrey, a former Round Towers player, tight corner back in his day. A lot of people are saying he's still tight, but we won't lie <laughs> against him. <laughs> Thanks very much, David. Good start so far, uh, Sean. Ah, oh, brilliant. Yeah, that's a super goal here. He's top class. Uh, Lewis O'Donnell gave him a lovely bit of ball and he caught it in. Defender wasn't people for him. Super goal. Uh, Ali, you need to move first level there. Yeah, we do. We do indeed. Yeah, let's, put jo let's get Josh into 13, right? Put that for Actually, Danny. Galen got himself in a bit of trouble there, yellow card. Yellow card, early doors for Luke. He'll have to mind himself, he's an important player for the Towers. And we're back in action here, Dunderry kick out. Strong wind, Dunderry having the first. Oh, yeah. Ocean Brady, he regains possession. Out to Cara McGovern. And Cameron Feeton in possession. Cameron's a tricky little player. He evades the first tackler. And the second. And passes it off. It looks to Lewis O'Donnell on the far side. Luke Alligan with a brilliant take there. Sizes up his options. Oh, still in play. Comes off the upright. Dunderry cleared our lines. Very unlucky there, Luke Gallagher, super catch, and he's very unlucky not to kick the score. Alex Palf working hard there. Deemed to have fouled uh, his marker. Number 11 for Dunderry. Jack Keneally. Jack with the quick one into the corner. Liam Radigan for Dunderry. It's a good tackle by Alex Wood Norton. And we set Lewis on his bike again. Come on, in Josh, let's go. Get in, come on, tackle. Fairly even so far, Sean, in terms of possession. Yeah, absolutely. It's both teams are a bit nervous, fumbling a bit, but um, very happy with the so far. What the fuck is that for? The referee, the Dunderry supporters aren't exactly too happy with yeah. that decision. But. Excuse their language there, lads. There's nothing we can do about that. But it was a free, I think. The issue is because the was a free to power end as well. Long way out from Yui. Funny else is about. Yui against the wind. Outside of the boot. Oh, oh drops just short. Adam O'Higgins was dangerous in that box there. Yeah, he was coaching. He was very close. Adam got two very important goals in the last round, Sean. Yeah, yeah. Adam's hey, Rap, that's a, trip. a big man and he's so much ability. He's a brilliant player. Go, 
Still in Dunderry possession there. Very good tackle on Megan. Oh Megan puts in a vital tackle there. They're a big side Dunderry, Sean. Yeah, huge in the middle, they're very big spine this. Even number seven and Luke Galligan there. He's definitely a six foot, like just definitely. No issue with height with Dunderry, you know. No. Big there. man out there. <laughs> they sure are, Sean. It's nice interlink movement there between Lewis O'Donnell and Fico. Back to Lewis. Breeze is not going to be easy to just kick scores. So yeah, it's, it's a swirl and enough breeze. Yeah, you're right, John. Yui with a big effort. Oh, Super from the effort. corner. So Yui's registered 1 1 in the opening exchanges. One from either corner. Settles any Towers nerves, hopefully. That's a brilliant score, I think. More importantness. Coming in to tell the referee something I wouldn't be like. <laughs> the referee's usually telling him something. So. <laughs> He's in. Maybe just to keep an eye on things, I suppose. It's a final, so it's going to be niggly enough. A couple of hits already, a lot of big men out there, as you mentioned. No, I was looking for a referee's whistle, but <laughs> he made a wise decision not to give it to him. <laughs> oh, well taken in middle. Jack Keneally, another big man. Alex Baff has his hands full there. Oh, judge so far. Yeah. Probably maybe it was just from tackling from behind, maybe or from the side. Just. Yeah, yeah, as he tried to get back, Sean, yeah. Dunderry sideline trying to ref the game here. Anthony Carey is watching at home, but no need to keep bringing me, Anthony. Eh? <laughs> Watch the game on Facebook. Looks like it could be a good contest with Connor Leonard and Connor Sheridan. Two big men right in the middle of the field. Shane Bell with his first free from range, and he slots it over the bar. Good score. I don't really give him too many chances, he looks pretty comfortable kicking for easy. Yeah, yeah, he's looked pretty assured there, Sean. Yeah. So, in the early exchanges, it's round towers 1 1, Dunderry a point. I'm waving a round towers flag there now. Keep their arm up that way for the whole game, they'll have a sore arm by the end of it. <laughs> Hope it's not their drinking arm. <laughs> We're back in here. <laughs> Karen McGovern. Great player from Carmen Gordon. Connor Post, Leonard. Another big man, Connor, finds Luke Galligan. He's been well marshaled so far, but he finds the gap. Oh. Yeah. Oh, back in the net. Cool. Great work between Luke Galligan, today's captain, and Adam O'Higgins. Adam O'Higgins just has a knack for the goals. Always in the right place at the right time. Real portrait goal, great finish from Adam O'Higgins. In the right place at the right time, that's where he needs to be in there. Good work from Connor Leonard. Good team move, all started by Carl McGovern there, busting out of defence. And we're back in here, Dunderry are not hanging around. There's a fair scrap in around the middle, Sean. Yeah, no, it's tight. There's a lot of, as you said earlier on, there's a lot of big men in there, but so far around towers are holding their own. Liam Radigan finds a bit of space. He has a pot shot, and it's over the bar. Good score, Liam Radigan. So 2-1 to Round Towers, two points to Dunderry. Ten minutes gone on the clock. We'll update you guys with the scores as often as we can, so save your fingers there by asking what the score is. When the score goes over, we'll update. Tiernan Timmons with the kick out. Alex Flood Norton goes up. Between two Dunderry men. He probably should have bent his back and got his free. Dunderry. Jack Keneally with 11 on his back. That's a good response by Dunderry. Another good score there by Dunderry, Sean. Yeah, and Jack Keneally looks like he's a plenty of talent. I wonder is he in your relation to Paddy? He certainly looks like he's able to play football. Just a Tieran Timmons kickouts have been held up with the wind and it's not getting as far, so just around her need to watch that. Tiernan usually a great man to distribute the ball, but as you say, win playing a factor here. But Round Towers break the lines. Cameron Feeton kind of really puts up a ball in the air there needlessly. 
Oh, that looks like Arsenal season against them there. There we go. As you can hear them there, you're not too happy about it. You're not happy. Round towards the man doing injured now. Round Howard's man on the deck. Not sure who it is. Big powerful team in there. He's 7, 8, 11, 14. Big men. Yeah, they really can mix it, Sean. Even 6. Alright, nice and tight, lads. Nice and tight here. Wind has down, died down the slight bit there. Yeah, now it might favour the towers. Dropping and it's picking up its. And in there, in Bengani, it's always kind of a bit of a breeze. So. Wind is not going to win the game for any team. So. Towers not getting all their own way now in the opening 10 12 minutes here. Oh, so they might not finally never going to get their own way, but they're doing well. They're holding their own, getting on plenty of balls. So. It's, it was a fairly hectic first 10 minutes, so it's breaking pale, just calm down, proceeding to small bit. I think it could be Owen Megan down receiving treatment, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I can't see him anymore. Joint captain of the Towers team today. Looks like a knee or a leg injury of some sort. I'm not sure how it happened. Maybe an impact injury or something. It's hard ground out there today. Now, the perfect, as you said, perfect playing conditions. And there's plenty of bounce in that ground for the time of the year. Yeah, it's bone dry. It's yeah. super conditioning. Um, Two under three points. We lead at the moment. Owen Megan back up on his feet. He'll try and run that one off. Owen, one of the leaders in the pack here, so he'll be a very influential figure. As Alex Balf has the free. It's great free from that distance. Doing really well. Luke Galligan tries to find Lewis O'Donnell. Cut out again by the Derry defence. Tackling Jack, Josh Haynes. Really well played. Well played again. Oh, and a high oh, tackle there. Harsh decision. Not sure exactly what that was for. Maybe he was playing right. advantage. Well done, Finn. Thought he was giving well the free done, out sir. myself, but. Yeah. Um, Someone is gone here. This is Owen Megan. Looks to be Owen Megan again on the deck. It looks like Jack Canavan, but don't quote me on that just yet. Bit of a reef shuffle here in the Towers pack. Jack Canavan enters the fray. In replace the injured Owen Megan. Disappointing end to Owen's day. Big loss, Owen. A high ball goes in there. Still not dealt with by the Towers defence. And a shot from distance, but Dunderry had the advantage, so. Just to bring it back to a three point game. Rattigan and Bell for Dunderry, 12 and 15, causing a lot of problems in there for the Towers back six. Shane Bell looking to add to his tally. Free in the opening exchanges. And Shane obliges with a point. We spoke about earlier on, he's deadly accurate with them frees. He can't be forward to be fouled in that position, especially against the wind. Yeah, on the impetus in the game by Dunderry has been aided by bit of indiscipline in the round Howard's back line early on so we're hoping to kind of rectify that as the game goes on or we could be in a bit of trouble Tiernan Timmins assesses his options and the ball goes out Connor Leonard duels for the ball there but Lewis O'Donnell comes out with it Warren Cameron Feehan Oh. Clear free, it looked like for Cameron yeah. Sheen. Yeah. The ball wasn't even there and he clearly pushed him off the ball. Alex well Stud Norton with the ball. Oh, cut out again by Dunderry. They tackle Luke Galligan. Luke Galligan working hard there. He's a tough tackling player, Luke. Play Luke Galligan. Super he wins his free. He looks for Adam O'Higgins in and around the square. 
possibly better off putting the ball down, Sean, and that's in that situation. What do you think? Yeah, it's a long way out, but um, yeah, he probably just rushed to kick a small bit. Just messy around the middle now. It's scrappy, yeah, yeah. As I said, Dundari, they seem to be going really one with all these big men, so um, yeah, we'll just have to get on the brakes at the end of them. Shane Bell with the ball into the corner once again. Liam Coogan looking to get on the end of it. Goal. Oh, that's a dribbly, dribbly goal. Tiernan yeah. Timmons be disappointed there now. Yeah, but he was left turns, exposed. Yeah, he was. It was well tucked away. I don't think Tiernan could have done a whole lot about it. Um, yeah, just Rue one again. Long ball in. Just, we're not. We're missing Jake Balfour there, and uh, just the, the ball has been in long all the time. So we just need to. Yeah. Just when we watch them breaks. I think Dunderry has done the homework and realised that Jake Ball is not in and around the square there. So Jake, unfortunately, injured with a serious thumb injury. So he's a big loss today. It's Dunderry rise highest there. Finn O'Connor again. I'm just struggling to get on the ball at the moment. We're in the middle. And Liam Radigan getting very busy there. The first we see a Jack Fagan now number 13. And Derry with first run nearly every time now, and another point. They're really putting a, getting a foothold in this game. Yeah, that was another lovely score. Um, it, there's no clean catching them in the middle. The problem is that we're just not getting uh, we're not getting on the brakes at the end of it. Uh, we're on water break time. Might just come at the right time for the Towers, who really are toiling there with the last couple of minutes. Yeah, it's just been a struggle for the last few minutes. It's a great start and two well taken goals, but. Just in there, you have to get in the foothold in the game. As I said, there is a bit of a breeze, but we're just uh... that 2 2 in about six minutes there, really doing a lot of damage. A 1 2, should I say. Yeah, so it's 2 1 to 1 5. We're down by 1. Look, it's early stages. Isn't it? Early days. A lot of nerves out there. It's a first final for a lot of these lads and a couple of se season campaigners as well. So we name out the Round Towers team there. So in goals with Tiernan Timmins. Jack Canavan kind of came in in the corner, I think. Cameron Feehan is in, in case, in case Jake Balfe here. Carl McGovern wears four. Josh Hennessy, five. Alex Balfe, six. Captain O'Megan, who's gone off, he was wearing seven. Connor Kerwins, eight. Connor Leonard, nine. Howard Carfrey, ten. Yuri Corkin, eleven. Alex Norton, twelve. Luke Galligan, 13, Adam Higgins, 14, and Oshin Brady wears 15. So not necessarily in the position they might have lined out in or numbered in. Lewis O'Donnell started wearing 16, and Cameron Featon started on the wing, forward line, wearing 20. Yeah, just a word for uh, Kyle Phillips. And yeah, Jake Valve. Two, Two boys, yeah. Yeah, big loss today. Look, it's a pity they missed the final, but they've been a great ambassador for the club all, like, all year. So we wish them well to get over their injuries soon. A lot more football to come from the two lads. Sorely missed today, but the towers are plenty in the tank if they can just get it out here today. Tiernan resumes action here with a kick out. Towers could do it winning one round the middle, Sean. Yeah, it's been a struggle for the last few minutes. Another one goes into the mix. Jack Canavan cuts it out just in time. I played Jack kind of really good. Great work by Jack. Connor Leonard finds Cameron. Cameron on the ball here. He's electrifying Cameron. In yeah. Place. He just. Come on, lads. Come on, Josh. Come on, lads. Josh. Come on, lads. Get the head up now. Oh, after all the work. Just needed a pop pass in the end. There's no substitute for the quick ball either now. Well done by Connor Kerwin. Expertly done there. Finds the gap, and oh, that'll that loom the world ago. A great score by Connor. Oh, that's an individual, brilliant score. Super by the midfielder there, just to settle any kind of nerves there was there on the tower side. Cameron feet and brilliant run. He just needed to pop past the end of it. Yeah. He was looking, nearly looking for an option there towards the end, just to give him go. Just wasn't on. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately. Keen Coogan with the kick out. That's a lot more like it there in the middle. Josh Hennessy. Yeah, reading them breaks. Back to Cameron. Connor Leonard. They get Paul Caffrey into the, the game here. Yui with 11 on his back. Looks to spread it. Luke Galligan onto it. 
and Gallo. Great score from Luke Gallagher. Sticks are over. Great score by the Towers. The great response. Two three to round towers, one five to Dunderry. Nice switch of play there from Yuri. He's been bottled up, I'm sure he's going to be man marked tightly, but um, that's what he's there for to get the ball around the play. Thanks to Luke Galligan. Good full advantage. Brilliant work from Josh Hennessy to win the break there. Yeah, Josh done very well there. Not have a big one into the middle. Definitely Dunderry getting the better of it in the middle, uh, Sean. Yeah. It's just. Um, Ross. It's, uh, it's, it's a struggle, they really are so physical in the middle. Yeah, they're very young. Good little player, uh, Liam Rattick in number 12. Two points already today. Oh, oh he glanced across the goals there. That's off Oshin Tim. Brady. Yeah, Tiernan Tim has done really well there, narrowed the angle. Got caught out, unfortunately. I think he must have got a touch to it because it's a 45. It's a really good save. A fantastic save by Tiernan. Turning an excellent, an excellent shot stopper. Could do very little about the Dunderry goal, but since then he's proven himself. Really narrow the angle there, really well. Dunderry looking for a quick one. Shane Bell. Jack Fagan back to Bell. Bell finds an angle for himself. Wide ball for Dunderry. Round Towers 2 3. Dunderry. 1-5 You have a right game on here Sean Yeah it's really good Yeah, It's, it's end to end um, We seem to have a few minutes of dominance then And there we take over We'll stay in the game as long as we can Looks like a push in the back there yeah. Push in the back there for you yeah. Yeah. Josh Hennis has been really really good on the kick out so far yeah, He's shown very well now Ben drop back in there a bit Ben drop back in there Ball in there in the middle. Lewis O'Donnell. Connor Kerwin in possession. Finds Lewis. Yeah, he had a great game in the semi final, Lewis. But if we find Alex Balf here, gets possession back. A fantastic, great ball by Connor Leonard into Fico. What can Fico do here? Oh. Need to steady himself a bit. Yeah. Still a good move. Still a good move. Encouraging signs there with the towers. Yeah, and that's Conor Leonard. Nice vision to get the ball and release the ball in. Alex Balf made a good run. He's a stylish kind of player, Conor Leonard. Yeah, he's a lot of quality about him. Big man. In a real battle in the middle of the field there. Oh, brilliant take by Lewis O'Donnell. Finds Huey, who'll be trying to get into this match. Danger man, Adam O'Higgins. Find Dewey again. Oh. Well done, lads. Well recycled there by the Towers. Adam working hard there. Brilliant work by Adam. Great attitude. And Dewey gets in between the Dunderry lads. Can we capitalise here? Oh, oh, needless. Certainly didn't look how it played. Didn't look how it played, but that's great work from Dewey and Adam Higgins getting the ball back. Super play. against the wind you need to be running to these players you can't, you're not, the ball is not going to do the work here unfortunately wind is not going to help us Dunderry looking for a sideline ball but there's no man no man here with a flag no round towers are doing the far side it doesn't look like Dunderry have a linesman Skinner McGovern trying to sort the lads out here Yui Carkin with the free. Oh, the wind takes that one. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Why are you ball from Yui Carkin? Wait, lads, there is no ball, there's no ball. Watch that breaking ball, Josh. He's heated on the pitch and he's heated on the sideline. <laughs> More on the quiet side. Yeah. Another ball up. Luke Galligan battling hard. Just Lance, who done dairy man there. The game. We're just not getting on the end of him, David. Ross O'Connor, another big, big man playing Huge number seven. Man. Doing a lot of damage. Jack Canavan getting stuck in there. Breaks for the danger man, Liam Radigan, once again. Oh, danger. And Fagan obliges, number 13 on the back. You're looking to get out of the point there. Let's go on there. Got out of jail there. Draw a match. 2-3 to 1-6.
We look dangerous, David. We're just around the middle, we're just not getting near the breaks enough. So yeah. we're struggling at the minute. As I said already, it's just hard to get on the ball from number seven, a huge man. But yeah, definitely seem to be second best in the midfield battle so far. But plenty of time still on the clock, Sean. Yeah, absolutely. I wouldn't be panicking yet. Connor Nolan in possession. Once again, apologies for the language. Towers losing a lot of possession, Sean, in the hand, you know, they seem to be... Yeah, they're trying to, they're obviously trying to work with him, but it's hard in the under pressure, man. The location here. Norton. Becky Carey asking who's winning. No one at the minute, Becky, it's a draw match. Two, two, uh, two goals and three points around Towers. 1-6 to Dunderry. Wind's picking up again there. Yeah, it's not picking up there. The sun has gone in. Finn O'Connor over the ball here. As he's in line down Paris to see exactly what happened there. I, I thought he's, I see, he's seen a kick out, but... Um, interesting to see what he does here. It looks like he's looking for maybe two yellow cards. It's, uh, that's the usual. Referee's going to earn his fee today now, it looks like. The Derry defence trying to put off a couple of the, the Towers front men there. As we can see Kieran O'Malley watching from Mulla. Realised they had coverage around Mulla. <laughs> Didn't realise he'd a phone. <laughs> Never rang me for a game, I know. <laughs> the yellow for Alex Lud Norton after the referee consulted his umpire. Bit of handbags to be fair, but yeah, a tough task there for Alex today. Liam Radigan shown very, very well. Yeah, he's two points already. Yeah, it's um, two different altercations going on. So yeah, it's killing any kind of momentum, I suppose, in the game for for Flavor and Dunderry. So two minutes since the ball was kicked, nearly three. And one way it's against the wind, I think it only gets bothering us too much, but we, look, we need to switch down, we're doing well, we're staying in the game and that's all we can ask, especially against that wind, I'm more than happy with that. The Derry manager is also the linesman, which is a strange one, you wouldn't get away with that in Crow Park. So is the, so is the round towers manager, so you can't really <laughs> say too much, Noel Corkin. Unusual man to have with a flag, but I think he brought it himself. <laughs> It was either him or Adrian, so I think we're better off with Noel. <laughs> Not sure what the referee's going to do here. It seems to be number, number six. Yeah, he seems, he seems to be himself and Luke Allen, but number six is getting spoken to by the referee. Number six would be Daniel Egerton. He is today's captain for Dunderry. Big player for them, but... Yellow card. Yellow card. Number eight. Apologies. Number eight there was Connor Sheridan, who's done come back to do a job, a man marking job on Luke Galligan. So Luke and Connor both in the yellow now. Luke on the yellow from early on, very early on, open a minute or two, but both players will be minding themselves with about 35 minutes of football, 40 minutes left to be played. Finn O'Connor. It's a long way has out here. Handed the ball over to Shane Bell. Shane has two frees. From three opportunities. The ball goes up. It's high, it's high, it's high. It's fine over. Score. Very fine score. Strong, as, as I pointed out a few times, there's a strong breeze there. So, Well, it's a great score. He needs to be capitalising and you get them chances with the wind. I was just happy to see it go over. It looked yeah. like it was going to drop. It was a ropey one, alright. 1 7 to Dunderry to get their noses in front. 2-3 to the Round Towers. Tiernan Timmins gets things on the way again. 3 to the Round Towers. And Derry supporters aren't happy. Or... They haven't been happy since we arrived, Sean. No, no. The ball and Luke Galligan gets in possession. Luke battling hard. Might be the biggest man in the field, but he's big heart. Absolutely. For sure. Doing really well there. Really has been brought up. Connor, 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 Sheridan, sweep in front of that fella, sweep in front of him. 
they're really doing a man marking job on, on Yui. Yeah, they're and keeping Yui quiet in there now. Still in the ref playing great, but just always like, a danger. Yeah. Oh, ball goes in, falls into the hands of Lewis O'Donnell. Luckily enough, Lewis has a pop. Oh, it's a brilliant oh, that's score. A that's a brilliant score by Lewis. Absolutely super score. It looks like so effortless. Yeah. It shows the talent the player has. Super score. Someone described him after the semi final as a Rolls Royce. He's not far off. This game is nip and tuck. Go out of your way. Kick out falls into the hands of the danger man, Yui. Yui been well marshalled so far. By Daniel Leagut and the Dunderry captain. Keeping yeah. close attention on, on, on young Yui. Very composed from Yui. That's very, yeah. very well played. Finds Porrick Carfrey out in the wing. Porrick. Good move, Porrick. Oh, oh bounces shit. off Lewis's head, unfortunately. Ah, uh, free out. The decision benefiting the defence there. All square again here in Dungani. Shane Bell coming deep to win his own ball. He wins himself for free. Once again, Ratting getting free there. Uh, he's given Alex Rudd Norton a lot to think about, but Alex was very well there. Brilliant, Alex. Alex hits one up. Power is going to have to be brave here. Oh, it looked like a push. And he gets his free. Well done, Power. Clever by Power. Yeah, you spoke of being brave, and that's exactly what he was. He done really yeah, well. Yeah, he sure was. Well snuffed out there by Alex Sud Norton. Now he he was giving signals to go to go short. He, he... Oh, not not dealt with yet. Adam O'Higgins. Oh, hard Adam. Time, time, time. Probably the one just to go take take the free. Settle it, it really down. was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's two occasions now where. Bit more composure, we'd have our noses in front. However, it's all square here, as you said. Jack Fagan travelling strongly with the ball. Another big man wins his free. No easy ball, one Sean, so far, that's no, for sure. Alex Life was unlucky there. He, he's got some good hassling, and he's just. It was just more that he couldn't, the number 11 couldn't get free and I think that's where the decision came from, but I was, Alex Paz was lucky there. Sometimes I find with Alex, he's nearly too honest when he's playing, you know, he yeah. gives it everything. What you see is what you get. Yeah. And Shane Bell with the fourth free of the game. He spoke about Shane Bell earlier on, he hasn't missed one yet, he's, he's deadly accurate. And Derry with their noses in front once again. Scoreline of 1-8 to 2-4. I still think there's more from the tower, Sean. If we just get get it get it going, you know. Yeah, look, and uh, overall, David, I'm happy enough. I like um, people can't see it at home, but it certainly there's, there's a seriously strong wind down. It's affecting the kickouts. We're not just judging them properly. Yeah. But um, so far, I'm happy enough. Dangerous ball over the top. Jack Fagan has it. Well, well marshaled by the. Oh, and it dribbles in at the near post. I'm not sure who got a foot in it, but number seven. Uh, Ross O'Connor yeah. with the goal. Good finish. Karen McGovern made a brilliant block, courageous block. I thought he'd done enough there, but yeah, oh, just a blow before half time. Just a winning everything around the middle now. Just had to kind of maybe our. Oh. Liam Coogan with the goal. Yeah, a lot of space inside there. We need half time and we need it soon. This game was torn on his head in a matter of seconds. 3-8 to Dunderry, 2-4 to Round Towers. I think I put the course of death and saying I was happy how things were going. Yeah. It just torn dramatically. Still proceeding to kick it out long. Lewis O'Donnell providing a very good outlet there. He's dispossessed very well there by the number five, Josh Cosgrove for Dunderry. Going back with Lewis. Well done, Lewis. Lewis playing very well, showing very well now. He just needs a couple of his teammates to kind of reach the standards. Well back. Look at the three. Play Yui, well played. Well played by Yui to find Connor Leonard. He's getting back on the, on the, on the loop around the corner. 
here we Adam O'Higgins does well, great hands by Adam. Oh, brilliant by Adam O'Higgins, who seemed to be pulled back oh, there. His one arm was clearly pulled back. This definitely looked like a penalty. But a super catch from Adam. Super catch. Just shot I'd the like stop, to see shot. that again, but. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Roll it again there. It certainly looked like his arm was pulled back. Daddy, I think Daddy, that's because he got Daddy, the shot off. Set for a 45. We just need to get a score back in the board here for a half time. Can't be too much time left. Josh, in front of the team. Facing it. Stiff enough win. Lewis decides to hit it from the deck. Yeah, Leonard's gone in there. Drop in, drop. It's a nice ball in. Just. Oh, Adam done everything. Oh, he's a wide ball. It's a good strike from Lewis, uh, Lewis in fairness. Uh, yeah, like he definitely has the distance. Yeah, hopefully in the second half we can kick on and use that as a, an attribute. Yeah. He's just gone away from the site. But look, we're still in the game. There's a long way to go. Another half. We have to win the second half. There we go, guys. Half time score, the Derry lead 3 8 to 2 4. Great start. Um, we uh, 3 8 to 2 4. Yeah. Things just unraveled slightly there before half time. But as I said, we're still in the game. Certainly not insurmountable. We can get back in this game and we can still kick on and win. Shane Bell acting very, very dangerous from the dead ball. So we need to kind of nullify that in the second half. Now, as I say, a stiff win to kick in against, but. I'd like to congratulate Dunsany on winning the under 13 championship there today in Drumbarra against Ryan Towers. Um, very entertaining game by all accounts, but Dunsany just had too much on the day for uh, previously unbeaten Round Towers. Um, best of luck, lads, in the future. Just give you some of the scores there. You we got 1 1. Adam O'Higgins has um, a goal. Connor Carwin has a point. Luke Galligan has a point, and Lewis O'Donnell has a point.
That's one up. That was the quickest supermax ever, Sean. Sure you enjoyed it, David. Thanks for buying, I couldn't believe you did. <laughs> well, you had no wallet, so I had no option. <laughs> All right, lads. Towers wind assisted in the second half. Seven points down, but let's see how it goes. Oh. Lewis O'Donnell wins the early free. Freeze will be very important now, Sean, in the second half, just to take the chances. Nothing too quick. Like, oh, great take, Luke. Great great foul. Foul. This is this is close to Yui territory, like I know yeah. it's small bit out. Luke with the quick one again into Yui. Yui with the shot. And Yui with and the shot. That's a great that's score. Really score Yui Super score. That's what we need this is after half time. Just get back in the game. Get settled back into this game. The boys aren't hanging around here. Messages there from Martin Carey all the way from Australia. How are you, Martin? You wouldn't believe it, it's about 12 degrees here, Marty. So It's winter in Australia, so <laughs> you can't be on my Not oh. much you can do about that, David. Finn O'Connor is a big, big man there, and I wouldn't be out of place in the adult team. Ball on the ground there. I don't know how he was allowed to get back up with it. Oh, good tackle, Ash. Oh, Stephen the Brady linesman happens. is very, very animated here. Good play, Oshin Brady. Oh. Son playing a bit of a ah, problem there, but Lewis O'Donnell. Absolutely born with his man. Yeah, he's a great burst of speed. Links up well there with Connor Leonard. Connor Leonard, he just needs to. Oh, it's a high tackle there. Connor loses out. Lewis still going. Lewis going now. Oh, hi, Oh, two man tackle there. Surely, uh, surely it's a free in. That was hard earned now. That was very hard earned. Thought it was a bit of a high elbow there, but... You getting special attention in there. Not getting much cover from the ref now, in fairness. Yeah. It's great battling, though. That's super workout. And good. Yeah. You know, everyone talks about you. He's kicking scores and his end product. But that's brilliant work from him. Lewis O'Donnell instrumental there as well, Sean. Yeah. Great burst from the, our own half. So we need to see low, need low, see load of Lewis. Five point game here now in Dungani. The towers eking their way back into it. Yeah, good start to the second half. Let's see how Dunderry deal with the wind. Seems like gone down a little bit, unfortunately. Sean Carfrey's fan club bringing him again. Yeah, Father probably bringing him in a mistake. Luke in possession. It's worked. Good play from Luke Galligan. Adam O'Higgins. Oh, this falls out of, the, out of reach of Power Caffrey, but we still have it. Camera Fico. Feet. Oh, it seems to be foul after yeah, foul after foul. Yeah, that's, that's what we need to do. We need to keep running at them. They yeah. are them. Yeah. We have nifty forwards. We just keep need moving at them. That's a good play. Good work from Luke Galligan. Luke is it. Serious ability to catch a high ball for he won't be the biggest man on the pitch, but he has the he has the technique. And Huey sizes up his second free of the half. Huey obliges. Oh. Starting to find their feet in it again. We are David and we're running at them, which is probably what we couldn't do against the wind in the first half, but yeah. Or uh, much improvement. Big shout out to Wesley Smith who's tuned in there. How are you, Wes? Hard luck, Alex Ball. Dunderry compete with each other for the for the kick out there. Luke Galligan, Harry and Hard there. It's the big men doing a bit of damage when they do get in possession. Oshin Brady does very well there, Oshin. Well done, Oshin. Oshin just interrupts play there. A bit more of a pep on our step here, David. Karl McGovern. Oh. Connor Nolan with the ball. He finds Jack Fagan. Jack Fagan finds Ross O'Connor. Good block. It's better from the towers. More yeah, encouraging right. signs there. A bit more sparkness there. Alex Hudson Norton. Great ball out. Alex Balf. Alex Balf. 
Alex a tough tough player with plenty of speed finds Connor Leonard it's better now Lewis O'Donnell he's away again plenty of space oh unlucky 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 he was unlucky he just tried to spin out a tackle yeah. just, uh, it was a good tackle he was dispossessed Luke Galligan giving his marker plenty to think about there definitely more of a spark in his David and very 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 dangerous on the counter attack well done there by Conor Kerwin. Excellent cutting out there by the young man. Himself and Alex Ball, great play. Jack Canavan finds Josh Hennessy. And Josh lays it off to Para Caffrey. Para Caffrey having a lively last few minutes. Cameron Feehan, brilliant in possession. Good ball out, Adam. Finds Adam O'Higgins. And back to Cameron. Cameron just needs to look up and find a man. And Luke evades the first tackler. Oh, he's got too much out of him. This made life hard for himself here. here now. Oh, we'd committed men forward, but we got back. Lewis is on in possession again. Finds Jack Canavan. Jack assesses his options. Josh Hennessy. Josh into the corner to Power Carfrey. Auric battling hard in there. Josh just need to get out of this corner. See here the corner now. Yui looks to square the ball. Does he oh, find Gallo? Super ball again. If he finds you. Gallo now, and Gallo from an angle. Oh, great score! Oh, Adam O'Higgins. Great score by Adam O'Higgins. Ref call for a square ball, but looks like it's going to be disallowed there. Oh. Disappointing and lucky. Unlucky, unlucky. But that's that's the that's the danger of of Adam O'Higgins in the square there, Sean. He's yeah, he's lethal and we're unlucky there was a good effort from Luke Galligan. He only needs half a chance. He's really stepping up here, David. Poor yeah. uh, Carfrey just getting a lot of ball, Josh Hennessy. All doing really well. All playing well, yeah. All giving a good account of themselves, Sean. Yeah. Definitely. We have a Dunderry man on the deck and we have around Towers man, Luke Galligan receiving treatment there. Um Four point game, Dunderry 3 8, round towers 2 7. A finely balanced. The wind proven to be a factor in the first half, so. It has dropped a small bit, but it, it's like that all day. It's picking up every few minutes and then dropping again. Good to see Yui getting into the game as well, Sean. He was, by his own standards, quiet enough in the first half, but three points there since the resumption. Yep. Rode well for his team. Yeah, he's doing really well. His distribution is excellent. That was a great ball across Luke Allegan. He was unlucky, Luke. Just drop short, and Adam Higgins is just. He probably was in the square, I would imagine. I don't think. Yeah, any arguments there. Not too many complaints about that. But he's a brilliant target man, Adam. You know. Yeah, absolutely. And when he did get in there, he took his chance, like. But it was just, mm -hmm. it was just unfortunate. Luke is back up, and Daniel Conway is back on his feet for Dunderry. As we try and get back this thing back up and running. Ball back out, straight out to Luke Galligan. Luke looking for support. He needs to look up. He's been very well marked there. It looked like two hops, but um Brilliant win, Yui. Brilliant. Yui. He's getting well marshaled, but it's a super win. Oh, it's a good ball in. If Great Adam's ball. in around it again. Yes! A great goal that's by Adam O'Higgins. That's definitely not a square ball. That's a brilliant finish. It's a great score. Brilliant play from Luke Once Galligan. again, proving the danger man in there. When a ball does go in, and fair play to his teammates to acknowledge that. He's absolutely lethal in there. He's, he's so brave in there. It's incredible. That's a brilliant goal. All square here in Dungani once again, lads. Oh, no, we're one down. <laughs> 3 7 to 3 8 to Dunderry. That old super max is going to head. <laughs> the coke, I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Finn O'Connor with another ball in. Alex Norton. He's just hands full there, but he's doing quite well, Alex. Oh, Oshin Brady is reading the game really well. Yeah, well. yeah. Oshin's yeah. getting into it now. It was an RV first, first half. There's a lot of pressure on against that yeah. win, David. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant win from Yui. Brilliant. Yui starting to get his fair share now. Brilliant, brilliant outlet, so, Yui. Oh, Connor so Leonard with a run. Just from, yeah. Overcooked the pass there to Connor. Josh Kosh go for Dunderry. Ah, come on, Red! 
Big man, Ross O'Connor, for a wing back. Uh, Advantage, I think, the referee is then. Yeah. Anthony Carey's given out a bit the coverage, but Anthony, you may pay us a Sky subscription if you want to get better coverage. Them dodgy boxes don't give you the same coverage, Anthony, I'm afraid, so. Didn't think he could get Facebook Live on, and I'd not get 32 10, but. Oh, it's a good ball. Well, oh, well, well dealt with. Jack Canavan once again. Jack, yeah, Jack has done well once yeah, he came in. Really well, David. Excellent. He's gone a lot. Oh. oh, it's a high, high tackle on Lewis O'Donnell. It's a free. It's a free. Three seven to three eight to Dunderry. Point in it. As the score goes in, we'll update. This is going to the wire, David. Yeah, sure, Sean. He seems to have come out. He's left Adam Higgins on his own, but as we've seen already, Adam is doing a lot of damage himself. So yeah. Once our forwards get any kind of a press, it brings Adam into the game. Oh. Good tackle. Luke losing out there. Yeah. Good Looking good for his free, but it seemed a good tackle. Yeah. He's under pressure, he's just... Ross O'Connor lays it off to Finn O'Connor. There must be some relation. It just seems a lot of the steps ground, there. Yeah, excellent defending. Alex Balf, excellent. Alex Balf, Tigerish defending there. He, he's given the... He's given the Dundary man two feet, but he's certainly not causing determination. Looks like it's going to be a hot ball though. Oh, silly, silly by the towers now. You don't want to throw up ball with such big men in and around the pitch. I mean, Connor Leonard in there. I'm really did. I'm surprised they allowed that. In the middle of the field there. Yeah. O'Connor finds O'Connor. And ball. a wide ball. That's a let off, David. Big let off there, Sean. Towers get out of jail after a bit of lip to the ref there, and he overturns his decision for a free out to give a throw up. So. Yeah, after doing really well as a defender, it was just silly, but look. We got away with it, so let's build it from that. The big players are really coming into it now. Tiernan Timmons with the kick out. Really good kick out. It looks like a push in the back, in the back yeah. there all day long. Yeah. Connor Cowan, steady pair of hands there. That carry is very happy with the referee with that decision. <laughs> Hopefully, he stays as happy with them all there. Some more good play by the boys here. Lewis to Yui. Yui with the ball in. Oh, it's wasteful. We need to kind of take our chances there, but we'll forgive Yui that one. Yep. He's well able to do it. It's just outside of the boots are tough. Tough thing to accomplish, but uh, he was unlucky there. We're lucky. It's good to get that end of the field. Yeah, creating chances. Exactly, Sean. One point game, 3 8 to 3 7. Keen Coogan with the kick out. Yeah. Alex Balfour is leaning his, his back there. Covering a lot of ground, Alex, in fairness to yeah. him, as is all the Towers players. They're yeah. putting in a good shift. They're not leaving anything out there. Oh, really just missed it, but he's looking. Liam Coogan with the ball. Jack Canavan doing very well. Yeah, a bit of a harsh free, but the balance of play probably was. But. Yeah, Jack done the right thing. I think that's as much as it is a free. Looking for a card there, but I can't see that. Soft ish free. Okay, complaints were not neutral, but this is bar around to from Barrow's Facebook page. Yeah. <laughs> we can be as biased as we want to be. And we will be. <laughs> Approaching the water break, Adam Hogg's wondering how long is left. So I wouldn't say it's too far away now. 13 minutes and 50 seconds gone in the second half. Shane Bell. Hot ball, oh. oh! Very unusual what happened there. Very unusual. I'm not sure exactly what happened. The neutral is told is a disgraceful decision, but. It did seem. Right, we're not complaining. He, no, absolutely. He was waiting a long time. I'm not sure what he was waiting for, but. The ball goes up again. Jumbar need. Uh, Ryan Towers need to deal with this. <laughs> Looks like it's heading over for the side in. Uh, yeah. It's a line ball. Ball back in. 
Captain Derry are not hanging around. Free out. It's a free out. Derry had a man there, number 11. Right in the middle of the field up for Oh, high ball. Too high for Luke. Yeah. Great tackling Lewis, Lewis, Lewis O'Donnell. O'Donnell. Putting in some shift today and in fairness yeah. Finn O'Connor with a crazy ball in. Oh, it's still not dealt with. Looks like start charge. Oh, hi! Hi! It's in the fucking bar! Apologies again for the, yeah, the language. The language. Oh, a juvenile game and adults roaring and shouting. <laughs> I thought Tiernan and Tim was done okay. Yeah. Pulled the ball out of his hands in the end, but I thought it was, it was 6 of 1. And Where's the card, Red? It's a few cards for every decision now at this stage. Every tackle is a card. Thank for Dundere. Shane Bell with his fifth free of the game. It's very hard to be quiet sometimes, Sean, isn't it? Yeah, you have to bite your tongue. Wouldn't be my strongest. Attribute. Certain, anyone who knows me certainly wouldn't agree with mine. <laughs> Look, we let everyone else argue over. Two point game now again. Two point game. And Lewis O'Donnell once again in possession. He's having a monstrous game in fairness to Lewis. Another man who showed well, Cameron Feehan. Luke Gallagher needs to go on the end of this play. Oh, Cameron. Cameron just kind of needs to back himself when he when he does get the chance. Against you, you're very unlucky. Yeah, I just like to see, just like to see him getting getting someone linking up with him. Yeah, 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 you're right. Might be too fast for everyone. That's the problem. Jack Fagan wearing 13 for Dunderry. The ball in. Ah, well Dealt with by Ocean Brady. Brady. Super Ocean Brady. Between himself and Alex Balfe, they clear up the mess. Connor Leonard is free if they can get a ball out to him. Not really the man that needs to get looking for. Alex Balf kicks a ball in and is a yeah. hand in the back. And Yui, Yui looks for the quick one. He finds Fico. Fico puts on the speed. Yeah, yes, yeah, it's a great goal. Somehow it snuck its way in. The momentum of Fihan's kick. It could be a square ball again. Oh, oh lads. I actually would have said it was going in the net if. I don't know about that one so much now. It looked that he was following the ball in, Sean. What do you think? Yeah, I don't know. I think the referee, the linesman, the umpires are just quick putting it up there. Now I wasn't so sure. Oh, I think the umpire, the umpire. I'm not sure of his decision. Yeah, they're only listening to the sidelines. I'm not sure of his decision. He still hasn't really made it fully, has he? Umpire, he needs to be a bit stronger there, in my opinion. The big Dunderry contingent over towards the umpire side, so. It's disappointing, David. Look, it's a water break now, but it's a great chance. It's very disappointing. We just get a bit of clarification on that decision now. It looks like it was this loud, from what I can see. So we head into the water break. Yeah, Dunderry lead 3 9 to 3 7. All to play for a brilliant, brilliant opening 15 minutes there by the by the towers under assumption. Dunderry just slowly getting back into it, had a couple of chances. Yeah, they were definitely back in this game. Like we were what, seven down at half time. We were well cooked at seven points. We were uh, we had a lot of momentum there. Lewis O'Donnell's picking up a mountain the ball. Oshin Brady is really up this game in the second half, in the super second half. Adam Higgins is lethal in there, absolutely causing mayhem every time the ball goes in. He's had two goals this load, or a point in the goal this load. We've confirmed that it was uh, this loud goal, unfortunately. Maggie Morgan looking for VAR in Dungani. I don't know about VAR now, but we'll give our opinion if that's any use to you, Maggie. Might not be the correct one, but it'll be our opinion.
I wouldn't get a game, I get a jersey. <laughs> Just clarifying with the ref. He said it was 100% a square ball. So there's not even 1% doubt, right? This is it, David. 15 minutes. All or nothing, Sean. Buckle up time. Lewis O'Donnell doing Trojan work again. He releases Huey. Huey with the shot. Oh, it's going across the goal on a wide by Huey. No shortage of chance has been created though, which is which is a positive sign. It's just when we do get them, Sean, every score, every chance is going to count. Yeah, we're going to have to. We're just going to need to take a score in the last 10, 15 minutes. Referee's back in with the umpire again. I'm not sure exactly back what's going to happen. I had a couple of choice words for the umpire there. You did. <laughs> Credit to the young man, there's no one putting a hand up to do these kind of jobs, but you're getting a lot of abuse there from the Dundary side, it seemed. Fine game of football, David. It is indeed, yeah, yeah. Keen Coogan with the kick out. Luke Galligan rises highest. It's a good old battle in there. And feet going now with the quick ball in. If he finds Adam. Oh, oh! I don't think we can have any arguments with that free, David. Oh, no. So far we have Adam Higgins just allowed two goals and a point. Just a big man. Oh, there was nothing malicious was in not it. He put his arm out and it was For those who missed it. Yeah, for those who missed it, might have missed it on the angle there. Cameron Feet with a quick ball in, in on top, just kinda of over the head of Adam Higgins as he went for it. But uh, he went in one on one with the keeper and the keeper came out the wrong side of it. But Adam is a big man, but a very fair, fair man. Yeah, that was absolutely the referee didn't even think about a card there. It was just unlucky. But we've had loads and loads of chances there. We just start converting and we win this game. Two point game, Dunderry 3 9, round towers 3 7. Getting, getting the, the better of it now we're in the middle as well, Sean, notably compared to the first half. We're getting a lot more breaks, absolutely. Brilliant. Luke Allen got a brilliant fist in that kick out there. That's what we need to see, Luke. Luke's yeah. brilliant in the air. Manus has made a comment about the, um, about the cameraman, but I think that was more of a personal vendetta he has against him. I don't see him offering to do it. Keen Coogan for Dunderry, the keeper still down on the deck now. As I said, there was impact there, fair impact in my opinion, but good, happy to say he's back up on his feet. Good little keeper, he was brave, Sean. Oh, absolutely, any. It was just, it was just a pure physicality of, of uh, you, um, Adam. Adam, yeah. Nothing malicious whatsoever. But uh, the re keep it away. Wake up with Lash, with Lash in the morning. You need to keep the ball on this end now. And the free is up. Luke Galligan, oh, he competes very well in the air again. Connor Leonard with the ball. Oh, it's a dicey one. Oh, it's silly, silly, silly ball. We should have kind of. Maybe use Dewey as an outlet there. However, the ball's still in play. Well taken Lewis O'Donnell. Lewis O'Donnell. Really he's covered nearly every inch of the pitch yeah, so far. Excellent. He really has. Connor Leonard now. Writing a very good outlet in the second half. He just does the simple things. He does it so well, so often. Great score, score by Fico. Oh, what a score. Really score by the young man. Probably the ball on into Dewey and he just took back to himself. That's what we need to see loads of. That's a great score. Brilliant score. Delighted for Cameron now. He's had a he's been unselfish in his play today, but it's good to see him back himself there, Sean, as you yeah, rightly says. Super player to watch. He's, he's electric. He's, when he gets in the ball, he, he breaks the line every single time, David. He's a joy to watch. And Keen Coogan kicks out again. And around the middle. Getting a lot busier. Very congested in there. Yeah. But it's a good tactic by the Towers. They kind of to drowned out the, the threat of the two midfielders by bunching up. Cameron Feet and working very hard over there. And Yui as well, that's great. And Yui. Tigerish once again. Connor Leonard. Just the simple things he does, that's but he does them very well, as I've mentioned. Connor, Connor Kerwin. Kerwin. Showing a bit of pace there. Oh, it's a savage score by Connor with the fist. Score. He ran out of room there, but. 
spoke about Cameron Feet and injecting pace into it. That's a super injection of pace from Cameron and Cameron. That's a brilliant, brilliant score. This time in the game, tired legs, no fitness issues, didn't make myself and yourself there. <laughs> We'd be looking Three nine apiece. Towers, come on! Towers need to keep the ball down here now. This is great play. King Coogan once again gets things on their orders. Once again, Luke Galligan in the middle of it there. Car McGovern battling hard. Brilliant by Car McGovern. Brilliant by the young man. Conor Arnold, Luke Galligan. Brilliant around the middle for the last few minutes. Getting on break, breaking a lot of ball. Galligan with the ball in. Finds Lewis. Get over. Oh, it's a dangerous one. It's not dealt with quick. Just yet. A penalty. No. Oh, off the post. Surely it could have been a, uh, Surely it could have been a penalty there. there. Serious question marks with the referee there. So oh, Carfrey was clearly pulled back. I had me suspicions when the umpire was wearing black and white. But that was under his nose there now. Uh, the referee needs to make that call. Poor Carfrey. Like, I know we got the shot off, but it was clear foul. There's no doubt about it. Dunderry get the sense there, a sigh of relief there. I don't know what Paul, uh, Ushin Brady had in his Superman game. <laughs> he's, he's a different man in the second half. He's having a super brilliant yeah. game. Second uh, Ushin's a super player now. Oh, Luke Galligan nips Luke Galligan. He's a great man around the break, Luke. He's going to back himself. The dangerous ball in. Adam O'Higgins with brilliant hands again. Can we finish it now? Yes! yes! Brilliant, brilliant. Parra Carberry with the deciding blow there, a goal. He's the first Carberry to score a goal in about 20 years. <laughs> Man, Parra, well done. But great, the towers back with their nose in front. Seven down a half time, but... Ward for Adam Higgins. Oh, yeah. what a pair of hands. That's a super catch. He's been absolutely lethal in there. He's been so unlucky with some of the decisions. And look, we're not going to argue the decisions, but... And in fairness to him, he doesn't argue, he gets on with it. Yeah, yeah. Cameron Feekin in possession here, Yui. He nearly had a goal again there a few moments ago. Yui, going, take, taking the ball for a walk. Clever by Yui. Ward has to go for Ushin Brady winning that ball in his own back lane, led to the goal. Yeah, as you say, he's a, he's a, he's a new man since that break. I don't mean it, Nicky Newman, but <laughs> he's been very, very well. We have Alex Foot Norton leaving the pitch on uh, Jake Balfin Jake's going to keep close attention on Liam Rattigan Liam with two points already today great to see Jake back out a very influential player but two hardy chaws in there now minding Tiernan Timmins Carl and Jake you were getting some treatment. I mentioned for Jack Canavan as well there, uh, Sean. He's been very good since he came in now, very tight. Good little defender. Yeah, I've been told he's very looking at the start and when he came on he's been he's been super. He hasn't been one he hasn't been faultless for one, no. one mistake so far. You with good. the free. Oh it's screwing to the left. Luke Galligan is in there, but oh just coming off the boot from Louis to uh, say. Yeah, yeah. But he's his all round play has been absolutely super. He's excellent. Yeah, you can't fault him. You can't fault the commitment now by our lads. Um, 4 9 to 3 9. Not anyone looking for the score? Ball back in around the middle. Oh, brilliant by Alex Balfe. Oh, just got it pushed off with there in the final second. Liam Coogan gives the ball plenty of air. Jack Canavan's up. Oh, it's Pico actually. Yeah. Ref giving it on every ball. <laughs> Fair to say, Noel is not giving it in very well. But. The 50 plus round towers contingent, and I say plus, agree, <laughs> disagree wholeheartedly. With seven and a half minutes to, go, minutes to go, this is going to the wire, David. I'm going to the wire, Sean. Luke Galligan gets things back on the way. Great ball into Yui. Freeze it. Up Luke once again. Gallo brings three men close to attention. He frees it out to Yui. Yui, another dangerous ball into the danger man. 
Adam battling hard there. Where he done very well. And he gets his free. He's just been outstanding today. It's just, yeah. I don't think he's been better at all all game. Fair play to him. No. He's got the whole lot. He's a tall man, a strong man, great hands. Yeah, super ability. He's been a joy to watch today. He's on the freeze now as well. Is there any in the man can't do? Hopefully he kicked <laughs> it over this morning. Do you yeah, want to commentate yeah, his course? Yeah, course is already, Sean. <laughs> Adam stands over this one now. And a score, great little score. One step over the bar by Adam. Four points up. 4-10 to 3-9. 4-10-3-9. Just need to keep the, the pedal to the metal here because Luke competes. So long ball in there. Jake Balf gets a hand to it. Car McGovern, brilliant there, cuts out the cuts out the danger. Oh, raffled it there, yeah. handing on Derry back the impetus. Shane Bell. Oh, oh. 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 Probably not the worst decision though. No, no, no. Lewis, Jake Bell done really well to get a fist in that ball. Lewis is a great student of the game now. He knows his stuff, so it was the right decision. Shane Bell looking to add to his tally of five frees. Four and a half minutes left. That's presuming he started, it was exactly 15 then. And score. 3 10, 4 10 to the towers. All the play for here, lads. Going around towers and really need to get this kick out. This is important. So Carton and keep the momentum. Yeah. Tiernan and Timmons kick out here. Oh. Falls to towers man. We were lucky there. Sean got away with it. Yeah, I think actually the player hurt his fingers trying to catch it. it yeah, it's just one of them but, uh, ones. Lewis is on the course as all game, uh, waiting for <laughs> Alex Balf. Brave once again finds Luke Galligan. Need to be Luke and Connor, Connor Leonard. Leonard breaks the tackle, wins a free. Does very well there, Connor. Finds Luke, and Luke wins a free. This is the chance to slow it down. Slow it down and take any kind of bite out of it. <laughs> yeah, put it dead, whatever you do. You... Three point game. Noel Corcoran getting his orders in there. It's a great Going shot. Short by again, Adam oh, Adam oh, Higgins. It's a high tackle, if anything. Yeah, like Jesus Christ. Two arms wrapped around the shoulders. I don't know what yeah. that was supposed to be in your free. Certainly, and that's the first ball Adam didn't get. It's because he was fouled. Connor Carwin with a big tackle. Plays the foul. Ah, here, shut up, the fuck. Take the head off a big man in there and then looking for a yellow card for that. Sorry, lads. Very hard to see how Adam Higgins wasn't fouled there. I don't, I don't understand that. He, the, the man's about 6'2 on his hat. That's why he didn't get the free, David. Yeah. As I said, this is going out. If you're looking for a bias, uh, neutral commentary, <laughs> Go we're elsewhere. in the wrong place. We're like Fox News here. A ball breaks, could go anywhere. Falls into the hands of Finn oh, O'Connor. Connor Leonard, super. Connor ball. Leonard with a just brilliant intervention. Just, oh, it still dribbles out to Ross O'Connor. Lewis O'Donnell, another great tackle. Brilliant. And There's Oshin some Brady brilliant working on there. Yes. O'Shane Brady clears the lines. Luke Galligan chance. Gallo, Gallo, brilliant little touch oh. there by Gallo. Oh, is anyone on to it? Cameron Fee. Oh. oh the two on. boys, just one oh. you need to get it. Luke Galligan. Oh, well done between the two of them. Luke shields it off to Fico. Ah, ref. ref. Oh, oh, that's a oh he's not giving a whole lot now, oh, is he? He's, he's, the referee, the referee trying to even up the game, that's it there, that was a clear free. That was... That was a clear free. Long ball goes in. Alex Balf As clears his lines. Today, David, Patrick, yeah, he would be very good. There's been no one found out wanting out there today, Sean, in fairness, no matter what way this game goes. Two man, they've been excellent, David, excellent. I have no complaints with Luke Galligan doing that. No, that's the place no. to do it. I make it. 
16 seconds left. Uh, sorry, 35, 45 seconds left. 4 10 to 3 10. Anyone looking for the score? Time all bought up. These water breaks kind of killing it in terms of timekeeping. Lewis O'Donnell finds Power Caffrey. Power coming very well here. He's had a great game so far today. He just needs support. He finds it in the shape of Car McGovern. Car McGovern. Oh, it's a wild ball, but Adam has to make it. Adam knows. What is it? Oh. Yui has the ball. Oh, oh. It's a free. It's a free. Kick a free. Yui. Yui did very well there. Absolutely brilliant play there by Carl and Power Caffrey. They're linking up very well. Carl has another man who's covered every inch of the pitch, Sean. Oh, the, uh, Carl McGovern has been excellent. Look at Oshie and Brady. Uh, like, I, I mean, the work rate of our team, especially in the second half, David. Absolutely. When we knew we were in trouble at halftime, we really started digging. Yeah, absolutely. Hopefully Couldn't we, agree more, Sean. Hopefully we kick on there. Uh, yeah. Lewis O'Donnell, Luke Galligan, Cameron Feeton around the half forward line. Plenty of energy there. Yeah, absolutely. He's running at them. I have to say, it's hard to pick a standout. Lewis O'Donnell played very well, and Adam in, in, in the full forward line. Two men who stood up really well today. Yeah. Maybe with, this, with the free. Hopefully, this will be this is a good chance to get the insurance point. Please, God. Yes, yes really it's started. a great score by Yui. We'd love to know what time is left, folks, but we're just whatever's at the referee's discretion at this stage. Adam O'Higgins is going to be heading for a yellow card, I believe. Shout out to Anne McManus watching in. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. 156 viewers. We we'll start charging, Sean. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> Just pay for our supermax and we'll be happy. <laughs> I can make it for an injury time here. Ah, yes. Super win. Round Towers have torn it round in the second half. 1 4 11 to 3 10. Haven't been seven points down at the break. Excellent display, David. Absolutely. Absolutely. Fantastic display when it really, really mattered. They dug out and looked in there. You played that hard as well, Lord. I just. We'll go, we'll go over now, yeah. Sean, and we'll have a little look. We'll get people involved. As I say, it's all about the team effort. Which has been fantastic today. No one out, no one found wanting. Lung busting stuff. Oshin Brady getting his congratulations from Tiernan and Timmins. Oshin saved his skin a few times. Well done, ref. Noel Corkman congratulations to his troops. Super stuff. Brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff. Fantastic way to end the season. We're on the wrong side of the result in the under 13 final, but glad to say that the miners made up for it. Come on, Lewis. Anything to say to your fans? Thanks for supporting us. Fair play, Lewis. Shake a hand, please. <laughs> oh, God. The boy's going to have to commiserate with the Dunderry troops. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The boy, the boys do what these boys couldn't do. Yeah! Hello, <laughs> <laughs> ah! on, Jack. Oh, 
Pardon, Kevin. Hello, no scene. My car. Hello, Parik. Where's <laughs> cop, mate? Super scenes. No, I had him. Get us his team. Hello, Jack. Best off, Jack. <laughs> Hello, Adam. Hello, Adam. Nice. And to say to your fans out there, your social media followers. Super display once again by Round Towers, winning on the scoreline of 4-11 to 3-10. Having been seven, been seven points down at the break. Great scenes here in Dungani. Luke Gallian, captain. Well done, Luke. Well done, Fico. Great stuff. Where's Megan? You're going in and doing the scene. Where's Dad? You need to go stay in the car. Owen. Right, in the group. Come on. I don't have a lot to say here. Just a player, Liam. Yeah, just a player's only come in. Come on. The boy's having a private minute. Great scenes here in Dungani. One man having a pint tonight. <laughs> a lot of proud mammies and daddies and grannies and uncles and aunties. Boys on the way to pick up the cup. Samantha, say hello to our fans. <laughs> The proud Kerwins. Connor with a super display. <laughs> Covid restrictions. <laughs> Great to say there wasn't a mention of COVID for about an hour and a half there or so. Sorry folks, all supporters off the pitch please. Luke Galligan and Owen Megan. The joint captains.
DJA yeah, very worried about social distancing here, but not a whole lot you can do. Charge, charge, take the top of the left. Should have saved, right? Wins the final, five minutes, please. Fire, fine. Please, we're on the telly. Yeah! John Stevie, yeah! Your principal is on messaging us here. See you as Monday. No homework Monday night. Okay, first of all, first of all, I want to thank both teams for a very sporting game of football and a very enjoyable game of football. It's a credit to both groups of coaches to see the quality of football that was on display there today. And no more than the teams, the groups of coaches deserve a round of applause. sponsors and all the rest, I just want to say a special thanks to the rest of the minor committee and especially the PRO Root Chambers who this year produced a 66 page digital program for the minor finals. It's great to see the minor championship getting the coverage that it needs and that you as players deserve and without someone like Root coming on board we wouldn't have been able to produce something like that so a round of applause for our guys. Sponsors, those who took out ads in the programs, and to LMFM, who are our LMFM championship sponsors for the last few years. Without people like that back, back in MGA, we couldn't run these competitions. All I ask at every final is that more pe more clubs send in, in, in reports to Hogan Stand and Meat Chronicle to LMFM. These are the future of your clubs. Without giving them the praise they deserve and without showing them the, how much you appreciate their efforts on the pitch, they will not come through and play adult football. <laughs> When they win games, when they lose games, send the reports in. Everyone likes to read about themselves, and every young lad is vain enough that he wants to see his own picture on the match report as well. <laughs> <laughs> to the referee, Paddy Clark, and all the referees in the county, it's the only job where you're given plenty of advice on how you're doing it wrong, but you're never told how you're doing it right. But without fellas like that, we couldn't have our games. Every year is a shortage of referees. This year is probably even more so. And if, it, if it, there's anybody in any club who wants to pull on the whistle, don't be afraid. You get plenty of advice. There's all those people to tell you how to do your job anyway. <laughs> um, without further ado, it gives me great pleasure. Listen, Dunderry, just wasn't your day today, but you'll be back. You'll have bigger days ahead. You'll be back winning intermediate championships and progressing on to winning seniors in the future years. To the Kamehameha and Drumbara players to make up Ryan Towers. As a club man on the minor committee, he'd only love to be here today, but as is he, every weekend he's in Park Tolchin on steward and duties. Declan Black would love to be presenting us at the Cup, but in Declan's absence, it gives me great pleasure to present the Christy Reynolds Cup to the Round Towers captain. Two captains. <laughs> have brought us out like every week and we have Ronan in Sweden isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. he's out there. Yeah, should we give him a clap for us? Yeah. Uh, I'd like to 
white and all for the jerseys. <laughs> no uh, for the pints. <laughs> 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 and uh, Samantha for watching or watching the journey. Hey! Yeah! Yeah! Oshin Brady with the drink as ever. <laughs> so lads, your uh, post-match reaction there. Liam, <laughs> what can you say? Just keep it clean, lads. What do you think of that? What, what was the words at half time after? Work rate. Yeah. Work rate, and obviously that's what got us through. Look, the, 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 okay, you know, David. Yourself and Peter and Sean started this off for two years ago. We're struggling to get out fielding teams and we've been battling as a group here like he did. And there's a reward, our first cup on our own as Round Towers in the last couple of years. So, look, absolutely excellent. What was the talk at half time? The big men getting in, in, in on top of us in the first half. Don't there a lot of big units there. Was there anything said, Adrian, at half time in particular? Or? We were just trying to get out, as, as Noah says, our work rate. We didn't take our midfield. It wasn't working out for us. They didn't seem to be they seemed to be getting underneath the ball instead of contesting the ball. Second half was a totally different story. I thought um, our two midfielders and then Lewis and Cameron won it. Again, the breaking ball was the one thing we weren't getting. I thought Lewis and Cameron picked up a slight breaking ball, which helped us immensely. You know, like yeah. Cameron ran at them there for fun. And so, yeah. He sure did. He covered every blade, didn't he? Oh, Every one of them, no, no, absolutely, them, yeah, them, yeah. Every one of them from from tearing in the goals, it was absolutely brilliant. And just and a special mention, sorry, David, to yeah. the, the the injured players. The, the, which we lost three players here in the last couple of weeks of the first 15, which was could have been detrimental to us. But uh, fair play to them; they were there right to the end. And uh, shut up, Jimmy. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you know, so so it was great to great for them as well. Yeah. Be and Wayne, uh, a proud daddy. Oh yes. He he really uh, showed up today as well. In fairness. Now. Yeah, yeah. Year old now, but yeah. He can mix it with the biggest. The training sessions these boys put in won that game at the end of it. That's yeah. exactly what I wanted. Tough training. Yeah. And Liam, a couple of for the future there between Kamehameha and Drumbara. Ah, the future's very simple, as. Yeah. yeah. Leave it at that. Man, a man of few words. All right, lads. Thanks very much and then best of luck. All right. Bye bye. Well. Oh, you're all right. We'll send you the bill.